Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My hair's a bit crazy because it's super hot in here. So for today's look, I tested out some new products to create this look. So if you want to see what new products we use to create this look right here, then keep on watching. So for the eyes today, I want to try and recreate a look that I saw my friend Jadu on one of her clients. I don't have a new eyeshadow palette, so I'm just going to go in with my Laverna palette. So I'm starting off with the brown shade Deja Vu. So I'm just mapping out kind of the shape I want the eyeshadow to go in. And then I'm just gonna blend it out with macchiato. So I know this technique that I'm using right now looks a little crazy, but I am kind of trying to match a look. So this is meant to be a really straight line. So I'm just gonna clean it up. So the brush that I'm using to cut the crease is the JAR CC5 cut crease brush, and these brushes were made for cut creases. I'm not very good at cut creases, so let's see how easy this makes it. This brush definitely made doing my cut crease a lot easier. So for the lid space, I picked up two of Jar's new diamond powders. The first one is called Oh My Gold, which is a really nice soft gold. And then the second one is called Yonce, which is a little more of a bronze. So I think I'm going to mix the two together, but put a little bit more of the light. Oh, that is pretty. <gasps> I'm going to put setting spray, so let's see how it just sticks. Straight on. I've just gone over top with the eyeliner just to define it a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye quickly off camera and I will be back. So to prep my skin, I'm going to use the new Thirst Trap Juice from Wishful. I'll take it out of the box. This is actually a hyaluronic acid serum. It smells really nice and fresh. It's not overly fragranced. I am more of a moisturizer person. I don't really wear serums all that often. This is the sort of product you do have to use for a while to give an opinion on it. But my skin is really dry today, so I thought I would just try it out on camera to hydrate my skin, and it is working. It does feel really soft and hydrated. Today for foundation, I have the new Huda Beauty Luminous Matte Faux Filter. And my last video that I filmed was a full face of Huda Beauty, and I filmed that literally the day before I found out about these foundations. Everyone knows how much I love Huda Beauty, so I did receive a ton of DMs to try them, so you guys knew as soon as I opened the package, I would film a look with them. And I do have three shades in front of me. Ignore this pimple, it is huge, but what can you do? So I'm gonna try Butter Pecan first. In the old faux filter, Butter Pecan was usually my go-to shade, so we'll put Butter Pecan right there. Okay, the next shade is Baklava. Now, Baklava was another shade that I always did wear. So the last shade that I have is Tres Leches. So I have all three shades in the other foundation and this one was usually the least match because it was a bit light. On camera, it's really hard to tell, but in real life, Butter Pecan actually looks really pink. So although my actual face is light, my body is a lot darker, you guys can see. So standing up, Baklava would definitely be the best match. In person, I'm looking at my skin like, wow, the color's amazing. But on camera, it looks really yellow. I don't know why that is. But then when I stand up and show you guys my body, you can see that I am really tan. I just don't really tan my face, so that's why it looks a little crazy. My skin looks so flawless. Wow. I have another big nasty pimple right here. I don't know what is going on. So for concealer, I'm actually going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape. Just because I forgot to color correct and I haven't used this one in a while. I've been really into NARS lately, but I do still really love this concealer. So there's no new contouring product here because I literally only ever use this. So I'm going to go in and contour my nose. Mm. 
So I'm taking a little bit of the Mecca Banana Bake. So I'm just going to preset under my eyes a little bit. I find this step really helps my under eye look less dry and crackly. And then a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury in shade 2 on the rest of my face. And then just a little bit of the powder under the eyes. So I'm basically just doing a light bake so when I do my under eyes, just so I don't get any fallout. Alright, so I'm just going to take a little bit of macchiato under the eye and then a bit of mascara. I don't think I feel like doing a full on smoky eye today. Maybe after the lips I will, we'll see. But for now I just want to keep it a little more natural. Okay, so the next product is probably the total opposite of new because it's the oldest product in the books. But I did pick up the NARS Duo of Laguna and Orgasm. And it's a cute little limited edition compact. I'm pretty sure everyone knows of NARS Laguna Bronzer and NARS Orgasm Blush. These were the first bronzers and blushes that I ever used before I was even on Instagram. Even before I was a makeup artist, this is the stuff that I used. And of course, being in the position that I am, I started to get sent a bunch of new products from all different brands. And I kind of just moved away from it for a while and I did repurchase it. It's been years. So I'm going to use them today on camera. So I'm going to start off with the bronzer and I'm not going to contour over my nose. In some of my recent makeup looks, I haven't been contouring over my nose with bronzer and people have really been liking how my makeup looks. So I'm just going to bronze up the rest of my face and I'm not going to touch my nose again. Oh, that iconic smell. Oh my god, I forgot how glowy it is. I love it. So I like to apply my setting spray before I go in and do my highlight and my mascara. I purchased this so long ago and I just never got around to using it. So this is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. And this was honestly hot a few months ago, honestly ages ago. Oh. Does that look weird or is that how it's meant to be? It's been sitting in my drawers for a while but I don't think it's like expired or anything. Okay, when you shake it, all of that discoloration goes away. It's like really tiny. Okay, yeah, that is really tiny. But then who's to say these products are full because you can't see into them. So maybe it's just because you can see. I don't know. Anyway. Oh, it's got a nice fine mist. Mm -hmm. Oh, that smells so good. Oh my god, it smells like watermelon chubba chub as well. Oh, it stings the eyes a little. Maybe it was just my lashes, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go in and add the bottom mascara. For highlight, another thing that I received a while back is the Be Perfect Get Wet Cream Highlight for face and body. And the shade that I put aside oops, to try today is the Soft Silk shade, I think it's called. And that's what it looks like. It is literally a cream. When I looked at it, I didn't know that it was a cream. Okay, it's more of a glitter. I wonder if I can use a normal brush because it's a cream. I'm just going to take... Oh! Okay, it's literally like a party. I just went to grab a little bit with this brush and it dented it. So for lips, I'm excited because Jamie Genevieve launched some really cool nudes and... You guys know that I swear by my own brand nudes. So the shade that I did have my eye on was the shade Treasure. For lip liner, I picked up her lipstick in shade Bark, which looks like a really nice deep nude brown. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lips. So lately how I line my lips is I will overline slightly on the cupid's bow and literally just like line on top of my lip but then bring it back down on the edges. Okay so the lip liner does look cute and all on camera but in person when you look at it instead of being like a nice warm brown I feel like it's almost like a charcoal brown. I'm just going to pop a bit of sweet tea over the edge. I 
Okay, that looks a lot smoother. So I'm going to go ahead and try the shade Treasure. Oh, that's really pretty. The shade actually looks super similar to 1993, so I love it. I think that is the look complete, you guys. So I'm quickly going to fix my hair and I'll be right back. So this is today's look complete. I'm so obsessed with the eyes. I'm so happy that I stepped out of my comfort zone. Obviously not with colors, but just with the style. I feel like there's glitter all over my liner. I honestly hate it so much that lately people think that I'm like that boring neutral girl when it comes to makeup. Because I used to always do the most fun, exciting, colorful looks, cut creases, you name it. I promise you guys in my upcoming videos I'm going to try a lot harder to do more colorful and creative looks. So thank you all so much for watching. I love you all so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.